Yankee 4, Delta, Mike, Delta. Delta, Mike, Delta, come back uh, slowly, phonetically with your call sign. Yes, it's Kilo, Yankee 4, Delta, Mike, Delta. The name here is Lucas in Richmond, Kentucky. Roger, Roger. Uh, Lucas, uh, in uh, what, uh, uh, where was that in Kentucky? I'm in uh, Richmond, Kentucky, just south of Lexington. Roger, Roger, Lucas, and what radio are you running today? Uh, the radio is uh, Yezu FTBX 10. All right, Lucas, if you could give me about uh, 10 seconds and uh, let me look around and see if I can find a better path for us. Just uh, tell me about your antenna system for about 10 seconds. Yeah, the uh, antenna horizontal loop antenna. It's about uh, 575 feet off the ground. Um, and uh, I just built the antenna uh, a couple months ago. Um, and and uh, I built the antenna. A uh, couple months ago, and after I got it up and running, I had a storm come through, take down a limb, and then I lost the antenna, so I just got it rebuilt. Uh, when I'm not using it, I have an inset half wave that I also use, but uh, I'm on my horizontal loop today. Uh, yes, sir, Lucas. Now, uh, I, uh, it sounded like you might have had a little congestion in your voice. Uh, do you or is it your radio? A little congestion in your voice. Uh, do you or is it your radio? Yeah, you picked up on that. I do have just a little bit of congestion in my voice today. Ah, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well, it sounded, it sounded good. I'm looking uh, to hear you on my PASDR, and uh, you're about uh, 10 over up in uh, Pennsylvania, Roger. And uh, you're about uh, 10 over up in uh, Pennsylvania, Roger. Yeah, Roger that. Hello, check, check. Hang on just a minute. One, two. Hello, check, check. Hang on just a minute. One, two. Ah, well, it uh, must be somebody doing a carrier thing because I, I've got I've got your reflection uh, yeah, affliction, Roger. I've got I've got your reflection uh, yeah, affliction, Roger. Anyway, Lucas, you still have a coffee? Anyway, Lucas, you still have a coffee? Yes, sir. Still have a coffee on you. Yay! Uh, now, Lucas, uh, let me see if I can copy you on this uh, SDR. Come back and uh, uh, tell me the best thing you like about your radio. The best thing you like about your radio? Well, I'm uh, new to HF, and uh, this is my first HF radio, so I don't have a lot to uh, compare it to, but uh, I've done a lot of research on the radio, and I've really been having a good time with it so far. I just upgraded to General uh, about a couple months ago. And so, uh, like I said, my first HF radio, but... Roger, Roger. Uh, station, uh, this is this is a uh, in-use uh, frequency, uh, the QCV log net. Uh, we've been running now for about an hour on this frequency. So, uh, Lucas, uh, the first thing on that uh, FTDX-10 uh, is to be sure you're in that wide uh, transmit mode, transmit bandwidth, 100 to 2900. Are you familiar with that? 900. Are you familiar with that? Yes, I just changed it while you were talking to the, the previous caller there. It was set on like 300 to 2700, but I changed it to 100 to 2900. Yes, sir. That will give you the best uh, opportunity for your transmitter to shine. Uh, if you go higher than that, you start uh, getting into other places, uh, other people's conversations, uh, and they don't appreciate it. So uh, 100 to 2900 is the optimum transmit bandwidth. Uh, beyond that, uh, then we suggest uh, running a, a compression um, of about th uh, 3 out of 10 or 30. I think in your case it will be a, a 30 off your uh, processor. Uh, about a 30 uh, level on your processor, Roger. On your processor, Roger. Yeah, I currently have it set on 15. Should I increase it a little bit? Yes, sir, I'd take it up to, to 30. Yeah, we're dealing 30 out of 100, Roger. Dealing 30 out of 100, Roger. I believe that processor level goes uh, 0 to 100. Is that a Roger? 0 to 100. Is that a Roger? Yeah, that's a Roger. I increased it from a 15 out of 100 to now it's on 30 out of 100. 
Excellent, excellent. Now I'll go to your ALC meter with uh, mic gain in hand. And as you say the magic word, audio, uh, don't uh, stress it. Just say it like you would say any other word in the QSO. And adjust your mic level until your ALC meter is running 7. Uh, so you want to go uh, and increase your mic level until your ALC meter is running 7. Roger. It's running 7. Roger. Roger that. Audio. 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 I turned it down quite a bit there, but it's still about... Uh, it's right. The ALC meter is right. It's a line in between the white and the blue at about like an S9 on the S meter above it. Uh, roger that, roger that. Then are you familiar with your equalization, your tone control page? Equalization, your tone control page? Yes, I believe so. All right, let's go there. And uh, you'll be, I believe you have um, a set of control, P controls. Uh, that you will be using because you have the, your processor on. Is that a Roger? Processor on. Is that a Roger? Uh, yes. Yeah. All right. So we're. Uh, is that a three band or an eight band or what kind of equalization do you have there? What kind of equalization do you have there? I believe it is a three band. Okay. So we want to uh, uh, take a treble EQ plus about three. Treble EQ plus three from where you are. Plus three from where you are. So I have the two, one, two, and three level. Is that what I'm adjusting? Um, gosh, uh, if you have three bands, uh, uh, number one is usually bass, uh, and uh, mid-range is uh, two, and your treble is number three, Roger. It's number three, Roger. Okay, Roger that, so adjust uh, EQ3 level. Yes, sir, two plus, uh, plus three clicks uh, boost from where you are. Clicks uh, boost from where you are. That's uh, on 10 out of 10 there. All right. Uh, just out of curiosity, you sure you you have your equalizer uh, turned on, Roger? Uh, turned on, Roger. Uh, I believe so. There should should be a switch. Uh, equalizer on, Roger. Uh, equalizer on, Roger. Yeah, it should be uh, equalizer on or tone control on, Roger. Tone control on, Roger. Uh, I may have to look uh, more into it. I'm not exactly sure what that is. All right, so uh, then let me just give you a note on that uh, till you find out uh, what you have to do, uh, that we wanted to go uh, three clicks boost from where you are, and, and I guess that's a uh, uh, peg out on your your uh, top uh, treble control. Uh, you're at the uh, max uh, point on your treble control. Is that a roger? On your treble control, is that a roger? Yeah, that's a roger. Okay, uh, so in mid-range, that number two, uh, we want that one to be flat or off. Flat or off on that one, Roger? Flat or off on that one, Roger. Okay, flat or off on the mid-range, got that. Okay, and so uh, that leaves uh, the bass frequency, uh, number one, I believe it is. Uh, what is the frequency of that? Do you see that? that do you see that? The EQ1 uh, level is on 10, and the frequency is 300 hertz. Okay, can you is that uh, can you move that frequency to 200? Is that frequency to 200. Okay, 
Nice. That's 200 right there. Okay, and that's uh, 200. Can you shape it? Do you have a, a, a width of four? Uh, a width of four? Yeah, the width is currently on 10. Okay, make that a width of four. Width of four. So we're talking 200 cycles with the four. And uh, that level uh, needs to be uh, a start at uh, plus or minus zero. Uh, you know, and then we'll, we'll deal with it from there. So it should be uh, uh, flat at uh, 200 cycles with the four. Roger. 200 cycles with the four. Roger. Okay, so that is uh, EQ1 level zero uh, at 200 hertz. And the EQ bandwidth is at four. Excellent, excellent. Now we want to drop that uh, bass frequency by uh, three clicks. Uh, roll off three clicks uh, uh, on your bass frequency now. Uh, on your bass frequency now. So, uh, can you tell me one more time? So I'm adjusting the. EQ1 frequency down lower. It's on 200 currently. Yes, sir. And we want to minus it by three clicks. Uh, we want to minus that base frequency by three clicks, Roger. Frequency by three clicks, Roger. So when I take it down three clicks, that takes it to off. Oh, it does? Uh, okay. Um, hmm. uh, and can you go below off? Uh, and can you go below off? Uh, no, off is the lowest, and then it goes 100, and I have previously had it on 200. Uh, you mean two? Uh, you mean two? We're talking uh, 200 cycles. We're talking 200 cycles with the four, and then what's, what's your level? And then what's, what's your level? the level on zero. Yeah, I have it on 200 cycles, width of four, and the level is on zero. All right, so then can you go minus now, about three clicks? Minus? Uh, three clicks from where you are? Uh, three clicks from where you are. Okay, so that is minus three on the level there. It's still on 200 cycles, bandwidth of four, minus three on the level. All right, take it one more to minus four. Take it one more to minus four. There's minus four. Okay, and uh, tell me about your antenna system for just a minute. Your antenna system for just a minute. Okay, the antenna is a uh, homemade horizontal loop antenna. It is uh, approximately 575 feet long, and it's about 20 to 25 feet off the ground. And I'm running balance, the uh, four to one balance. Roger, Roger, and you're maxed out on your uh, your top number three frequency, the treble. You're maxed out on the boost, Roger. Out on the boost, Roger. That's EQ number three. That's EQ number three. The level is on ten, which is maxed out, and the EQ three bandwidth is one, and the frequency is twenty four hundred. Okay, sir, uh, then what we want to do, if you can adjust those frequencies, we want to come up to uh, 2,700 on your uh, treble frequency, uh, 2,700 with the 4, 2,700 with the 4 on your treble frequency, still uh, maxed out, Roger. Still uh, maxed out, Roger. Okay, there you go, that is uh, the EQ3 frequency at 2,700 with the width of 4. Okay, I'm still not getting the uh, top end that I would like out of that microphone. How close are you working that mic? That microphone. How close are you working that mic? Uh, I'm pretty close to it. Probably about uh, two to three inches off the microphone. All right, so if you could back up about four inches, and we probably would need to go back and reset our ALC, I think that's going to help your uh, top end some, because right now, I, I think we might be suffering from uh, 
proximity effect, which gives you a uh, base uh, build that uh, we're working that mic that close. So uh, let's go back to um, uh, setting up uh, the level on the AOC. That's where you, uh, you know, you say, ah, oh, look at your AOC meter and turn your mic gain up in that new location, which is uh, further away from the mic than where you were, and adjust uh, for um, uh, seven on your AOC meter. On your AOC meter. Audio. 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 Okay, that's right at seven. It's swinging from probably six to eight, but right at seven there. And I'm backed up uh, at least two or three inches from the mic from where it was. Yes, sir. It's sounding better. Now let's go back to EQ. Uh, roll one more off on your bottom end. Number one EQ. Uh, minus one more click uh, uh, level uh, deletion. One more click uh, 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 roll on your base control. Roger. Everything else the same. Just roll one click off. One additional click. Roll one click off. One additional click. Okay, so that is uh, EQ level one is now down to a uh, minus five, and bandwidth at four and frequency. Yes, sir. As near as I can tell, that's going to sound pretty good. Uh, I don't have the copy that I had earlier in our conversation, but uh, the way we were going, I think this is uh, going to work out pretty well for us, Roger. Going to work out pretty well for us, Roger. So uh, come back and give me uh, about uh, uh, 10 or 15 seconds on the uh, thing you like best about your radio. Uh, 10 or 15 seconds on the uh, thing radio. I'll be with you there. I'll ask you, do you think I'm uh, too far off of the mic there, or is that a, a better spot for me? Like that, I'm probably five or six inches away from the microphone now. I think that sounds pretty good. I'm not hearing any room noise or motor noise or anything else, so uh, I think you can run that mic just like that. But uh, leave your ALC meter out where you can see it, and uh, try to keep it in that sweet spot at 7. Roger. And uh, try to keep it in that sweet spot at 7. Roger. Uh, Roger that. It may be swinging a little higher at times, but about, about 7. Yes, sir, that would be uh, ideal, Roger, Roger. Yes, sir, that would be uh, ideal, Roger, Roger. Okay, Roger that. So if you would like to hear your audio, if you go to YouTube and do a call letter search for KC9VKV, followed by the word logbook, that will take you to this recording. It'll be cut number one in a series of 3,000, and I'll have it uploaded by noon tomorrow. One in a series of 3,000, and I'll have it uploaded by noon tomorrow. Okay, very good. Thank you for your help. Roger, Roger, Lucas, 73, sir. Have a great afternoon. This is KC9 VKV, the Friday afternoon QSO Vlog Network. Uh, and uh, gosh, uh, if you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout.